Chapter eight is all about alpha mats. Now what we'll do in this video is we'll show how to scroll through some colors. So let's start by going to Camtasia and grabbing that alpha black file that I provided for you before. Now I'm gonna move this up to track three because I'm going to use alpha mats. And of course we know that alpha mat is going to affect whatever's below it. And I'm gonna have something even further below that. So I'm gonna move this out. I'm gonna change its duration. And one of the things that I do a little bit differently here is I'm going to right click and choose the duration and just type in something like 10 seconds. Now, if you remember, this file has black at the beginning and then fades out into nothing, it just fades from solid into transparent. And so what we'll do is we'll just put a rectangle behind it. So I'll go over to my annotations and I'll go to my shapes. I'll make sure to choose bold so I get a nice square corner and then I'll just grab this rectangle, drag it to the upper left and stretch out that rectangle so it fills up the screen. Okay, now it put it above my image and I don't want that, I want that below. So now we can see that effect a little bit easier. We can see how that changes from black over into transparent. And I also changed the duration so that it matches the duration of my image. So now what I'm gonna do is just change the color of this rectangle to whatever I want. And I have, uh, let's just grab a red here. And I'll grab that and just make that rectangle red. And the next thing I wanna do is have a second color. Well, what is that second color gonna be? Well, let's just copy and paste this. So I'm gonna do Control C, Control V. And now I have a second color here at the bottom. And for the second color, we'll go with something like orange. So I'll just go down here to something that looks orange-like. And that looks pretty close to orange for me. So I'm happy with that. Now, when I turn on this alpha mat, I can see that it goes from completely red and fades rather gently and easily with this gradient over into orange. Now I wanna change the colors of these rectangles. So I'm gonna start by disabling this track above and I'm gonna go somewhere on this track and just do a shift A to add an animation. And then I'll go out here a little further, shift A to add another animation. And I'll do that a few more times so that I have multiple animations on this track. I'll go one more. And then what I'll do is I'll select one of these and I'll hold down the control key and click the others. And with those five selected, I'll do control C to copy. And then I'll just move the playhead out here, control V to paste. And so now I have 10 animations on that one track. So what I'm gonna do on this first one is I'm saying, I wanna go from red into what color? Well, I wanna change from red into orange. So once my playhead is at the end of that first animation, I'm gonna go over to the properties for the fill color and I'm just gonna change this to orange. Now, I already have an orange down here, so I'm just gonna select that orange, and then I'll go to the next color, and I want the next color to be yellow. I'll click the drop down, and I'll select a yellow, and then I'll go to the next one, and we want this to perhaps be a light green, and then I'll go to the next one and make it more of a dark green. I'll go to a lighter blue, and then I'll go to a darker blue, and then I'll go to a dark purple, a light purple. So I'm gonna to return to red here, and it does that, so that actually looks good. Now what I'm gonna do is I want those same colors repeated down below. So I'm going to select the first animation, hold down the control key on my keyboard, and select all the other animations in this track, and then I'm going to click on the bottom rectangle, and I'm gonna paste those. So what I need to do is shift everything one animation. In other words, I wanna start with the orange that I had originally. So let me take this first animation, I'm gonna select it on the timeline, I'm gonna use Control X to cut it, then I'm gonna come out here to the end, and I'm gonna use Control V to paste it. And then I'll just trim this over here and drag it down. So now I'll hide this top one so you can see, now I start at this orange and go to yellow, while the top one is going from red into orange. Okay, so let's show these tracks again. So everything is now being shown. I'm gonna go ahead and trim everything down so all the timings are aligned. And now I'm gonna go back and make this an alpha mat. So let me go ahead and turn the alpha on. And now I'll play through it so you can see what this looks like. And that looks pretty slick, I like that. Now, one thing that I wanna change about this, and I probably should have done this at the beginning, was if I look at this, the easing is on auto, and I'd rather have it linear. I want it to be a consistent animation. So what I'll do is I will select this one, hold down control, and just grab all of my animations, both on the first and on the second track. And with all of those selected, now I can right click, enable easing, and change them all to linear. So now this should be a smoother transition as we go from one color into the next. It doesn't appear jerky or anything like that. Now, the last thing I wanna do with this 
is use this as a background for text. So we're still going to use an alpha mat for the text, and then we'll have this color changing behind the text. To do that, I'm going to select all three of these. I'll do a control C to copy, and then I'll come out here a little later and a control V to paste. Now that they're pasted out here, what I wanna do is group them together. So I'm just going to do control G to group. So now I have this animation as a video by itself. The next thing I need is some text. So what I'll do is I'll create a text box. I'll go over to my annotations. I'll find some text I wanna use. I'll drag the text over. When I do, this track is underneath the track that is set to be an alpha mat. So what I'll do is I'll drag this up one track and then I'll even drag this track up. My inspiration for this was a streaming service and I'll select all of that. I'll go make it all left aligned, make this nice and big. And then I'll also make the text much larger. So let's say something like that. And now if I just extend this out the duration of the video and I press play, you can see that the colors change behind and it's this two color as it fades from one into the other. Now I would probably choose something that was a more bold font so that we can see through it a little easier. And I think it looks better. If you like this tip and you want to learn more, Camtasia Pro is the course to check out. If you go to cammastery.com slash pro, you can learn all about this course and how you can enroll to learn how to create professional videos with Camtasia.